welcome to Montclair Sports 4.5 FM. This is your host, Nate Millinger, along with co-host Morgan Mayer. Uh, today we'll be talking about a preseason preview for the upcoming NFL season. So, Morgan, who do you think will top the NFC East this year? Um, I think it could be the Giants. I think, you know, Elliott won't have as good of a season as last year, and he might get suspended the first few games, so I think that could really be a boost for the Giants. What do you think? Uh, I agree with you because I feel like the Cowboys losing a couple linemen will really hurt Zeke's running game, yeah. and the Giants are looking stronger and stronger every season, and I think they have the fight to win the division. They did lose Hankins, but they still have a very strong defense. Uh, how do you think Eli's going to look this year? Um, Eli should look good. You know, he has Sterling Shepard, Odell Beckham, and now Brandon Marshall. So he's a lot of targets this season. Should look good. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't throw a lot of interceptions. Yeah. Uh, how bad do you think the Jets will be? Um, I think they will finish in last place. I think they will be trying to get the first pick, try to get a star quarterback next year. Maybe Lamar Jackson. So you're predicting a tank? Mm-hmm. Uh, David, you're on the line. Hey guys, uh, big fan of the show. I'm just curious who you think your Super Bowl frontrunner is this year. Um, I'm thinking the Patriots again. They're stronger as they always have been. And I think they're going to go back to back. Uh, I agree because I feel like no one's stopping Brady and their team's still looking good, haven't lost players really. And they're just looking really solid so far. You. Yeah. Um, who do you think could be a sleeper this year? Um, I think the Giants have potential to go really far because last year they came in and lost the first round to Green Bay, but I feel like they can really bounce back and if they work hard and they added a couple of players like Brandon Marshall and I feel like they could really go far this year. Yeah, especially if they win a division, that could be a big boost because they weren't really comfortable in the wild court last year. Yeah. Yep. Um, what do you think about the Vikings this year? Um, I mean, they're looking pretty good. Um, uh, they have good defense. What about the loss of uh, Adrian Peterson? That's going to hurt a little bit. Hopefully they can get a new running back. Mm -hmm. uh, David. Hey guys, uh, I know I just called in, but I got another question for you. I'm looking at the NFC South as an interesting division this year. Obviously, the Panthers were disappointing last year after after coming off of that Super Bowl appearance two years ago. Falcons obviously dominant. Saints added Adrian Peterson, but I like the Buccaneers. Where do you guys see the NFC fin NFC South finishing? Um, I think Tampa Bay. They could do all right this year. You know, Jameis Winston is getting better every year. They have Deshaun Jackson. They could play really well this year. Uh, I think the Buccaneers will be good, but personally, I think the Falcons will still top the division because I feel like they're a really strong team, and I think after losing, after getting a taste of the Super Bowl, they're really going to want to go back this year. Devonta Freeman's been playing really well, you know, the past few years, and Matt Ryan, I think he will also play really well coming off of an MVP season. Do you think he'll be as good as last year? I think so. Uh, maybe. Yeah. What do you think about the Saints? The Saints, um, Drew Brees, he had a great season last year. I think he'd have a really good one this year. They have Adrian Peterson, that's really going to help their run game as they've struggled a little bit the past few years, so I think it'll be interesting. Um, so that wraps it up for today. Um, I'm Morgan. This is Nate. Thanks for listening.